live looks like we're live all right hey guess what today is the last day in the 30-day elite code challenge it's day 30 managed to do every other problem uh with a lot of help from my friends thank you very much so uh that's all good and i think i'm streamingly <laughs> streamingly appropriately right now uh so i don't know hopefully yesterday kind of stunk i did 28 streams correctly but the, yesterday i managed to not do it right so don't but that's okay i think it's running now i don't know but here's the last problem and it kind of looks uh not so bad what we have to do is check if a string is a valid sequence from the root to leaves in a binary tree so given a binary tree not a binary search tree just has two children, just happens to have two children. Given a binary tree where each path going from the root to any leaf forms a valid sequence, check if a given string is a valid sequence. Uh, we get the given string from the concatenation of an array of integers, R, and the concatenation of all values of the nodes along a path. What? We get the given string from the concatenation of an array of integers and the concatenation of all values of the nodes along a path results in a sequence in the given binary tree. Okay. I don't, I don't quite know what to make of that, but uh, I guess that's okay. So does that mean our input's an array? Uh, root? No, it's a tree. Oh, we got hints. Hey, all right. Okay, that didn't look too bad. Uh, so if we look at the examples here, we have binary tree. Note that the bigger value is on the left and smaller is right. Definitely not a binary search tree. And in this example, uh, here's our tree. Zero, one is the left, right is the uh, that one. So there's our little formula we figured out a couple of weeks ago. Uh, that we can use to traverse an array and it doesn't matter because we have we have it as a tree uh, and they're going to give us r and ask us if that's correct and so i think the trick is here is that uh, we potentially have different options here so this is kind of a, a bad example because or i guess i shouldn't say bad it's a very simple example because uh, when we go to zero we know that this must be the root otherwise it's not a valid sequence one, there's only one, one here, so we can go to the left, that's good. Uh, go to zero, uh, there was only one decision to make, there was only one option. And then value one, and we can see that that is in fact a leaf, it has no children, so the output here is true. So a standard DFS could have easily found that. Start here, we have a left, we go left, we go another left, we go left, a right, we go right. Yeah, I mean, that was just all good. And that should match the string. The, the thing that's potentially wrong, um, a problem here is if this was also a one, for, for example. So I would have to check this to path to see if it was a valid sequence. And then I would also have to check this one. So worst case scenario, if we do a standard DFS, I mean, we have to go through all items. If they, you know, all match, for, for example, like if this was all ones, and they said we want to find out if four ones is valid then you would have to potentially go down all the paths so um that doesn't seem like a problem to me though i mean it seems like the straightforward solution here would be fast enough so i'm tempted to not look at the hints i think just the straightforward dfs would be good so what am i missing Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is do a DFS and I'll basically pass our current path down and whenever we go back up, we'll make sure to not pass, pass the current path. And yeah, I mean, this seems like a straightforward traversal type problem. So I don't know. Well, we'll check the hints. Uh, DFS with the, par the parameters current node in the binary tree in the current position in the array of integers. Okay, that's good. I hadn't thought about passing the position of the integers, so that's good. 
uh, when reaching the final position check of its leaf node. So, yeah. I don't know, man. I think this is going to be no problem. Oh, I've said that before, though. And today I'm jamming out to one of my favorites, so I'm in a good mood. Russian circles. Rock and roll. All right. So is valid sequence takes in a root in the array. I'm going to make another function called, uh, I don't know, uh, is valid, sure. Uh, it'll take a node, not necessarily the root. It will take uh, our array that we've got right here. And we'll also take the current index. And our stop condition, we have two of them. Uh, basically, if uh, node equals null, then we can return uh, false. Uh, also, if our node.val uh, is not equal to our array at the current index, then we know we don't have to go any further. We can just return false. Uh, there's also the condition if our node, uh, if our current index is equal to r dot length minus one, so we're basically at the end. Then what? We know that the value equals it. So then, basically, if uh, node dot left is equal to null and node.right is equal to null, then what? Uh, that means we're a leaf node and we made it to the end of our array. Return true. Uh, let's see other case here. Um, otherwise, it's just a straightforward DFS. So we have a value. It's not the last value. Um, we check to see that they're equal. If they're not equal, we can return false. We don't need to continue. So then the other only other case here is just basically the, the alternative to this else, where we're equal. No, sorry, not this one. I. I'm missing one here. Um, if we are equal, so we, we're kind of doing the else here. So we know that we're equal and we're not last. So we have to return uh, is valid with our node dot left, our array gets straight through, and then the current index goes up one. Or, so our left has to be valid, or our right has to be valid. Hey, what's up, Will? Just saw you. How's it going? I'm doing well here. Last day of the challenge. Heck yeah, man. I've been slacking on Slack. <laughs> Sorry, I missed you so much. Lately. Ugh. I need to keep an eye out for your stream. Man, I, th I think this is it. Um, the big O, the runtime, worst case scenario is N. I'm going to have to look at every item in this tree. I'm not allocating any additional memory. So I think this is a good solution, which is a little bit scary. It's complexity. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah, man, I hear you. It's, um... Doing this challenge 30 days in a row was definitely uh, much more tiring than I thought it would be, to tell you the truth. It uh, kind of wore me out. But now that it's the last day, I'm happy. There was a period there in the middle where I just had a really rough time with all the problems, but then the last couple of days have been pretty good. I mean, I still messed them all up, but you know. 
Fingers crossed. Oh my gosh. What am I doing here? Mixing up my languages. Okay, got the wrong answer. Awesome. <laughs> so what happened here? I returned false. Because why? Uh, the node was not equal to null. So it shouldn't have been this one. Uh, the node val, uh, we checked to see if it's equal to the current index, which is initially zero. Should be fine for the root. Uh, the current index is the last item that I need to make sure that it's a leaf node. And if it is a leaf node, then good. If it's not a leaf node, it's false. Also good. And then down here I say, if it's valid left, and increase the index, or right, increase the index, and that's it. I mean, I don't know what I did wrong here. So, our old friend console.log will log our current node. And um, maybe the value of R at current index. We'll call it, uh, just call it our current index. Not either or. Not either or. When left and right need to be valid. So right now I'm only returning true in one condition where you are a good match. We've gotten all the way down to the bottom, everything matched all the way along the way. So it's possible that both of these could be a legit answer, but I only need for one of them to be. Is that true? Well, I got down to the last item in the array Starting for the root, the left, and we're a leaf. Turn true. Now you got me wondering. So in my case, uh, tree, I took in the root, uh, left. The, the uh, left looks good, like I expect. The right looks good, and. The, oh my gosh, it's JavaScript again, man. Oh, what am I going to learn? So, uh, the first value here is a zero. So it makes me think that I am doing something dumb here. Where I'm checking if R at my item. My node.val should equal that. That's all good. No, actually, uh, I assumed that I was basically not checking if this was null, but that looks good. No doesn't equal null. All right, more console.logs. So this happened for some reason. Node equals null. Uh, what else? Current index equal to the array dot length minus one. Nope. Let's see here. Oh, well, this shouldn't be an else here. If current index is the last item. Yeah, then we need to check it. Uh, otherwise, this is false. I had the else in the wrong spot. All right, got the right answer there. 
Uh, I'm gonna take out these console.logs because I think this is it. I'm glad that it wasn't uh, JavaScript zero being false truthiness. Oh my gosh, look at that. First submission. Ooh. So, <laughs> honestly, I'm glad that this was an easy problem, but I do feel a little gypped on the last day of the contest that it only took 15 minutes of me uh, blabbering. So let's see how the solution did. Uh, I don't expect to be at 100%. I'm sure that somebody figured out how to do this somehow in less steps, but overall, and I'm doing it recursively, which uh, tends to be, uh, it definitely uses more memory. So someone could have done this iteratively. I'm definitely not going <laughs> to write this iteratively. You got to pay me to write stuff iteratively. I need, <laughs> I need to get paid for that. Uh, the, we don't have enough... Uh, enough submissions to see the distribution chart, unfortunately. I hate that. Sometimes you can still see some info from uh, the normal page, like if you Google for the problem. Uh, but it looks like maybe this is a new problem. Man, look how many people have already done this problem on YouTube. Like, what the heck? They must like hit it like right in the morning. Oh, hey, that's me. That's cool. Go YouTube. <laughs> uh, let's see here. All right. Well, I don't see. Hey, that's pretty cool. The Facebook group. Uh. I'll be joining that. Ah, no. Oh, well. All right, well, hey. Uh, I'm happy about that. Let's see what else we got here. I uh, got a couple notifications. Does it tell me that I'm a champion? Yeah, look at that. I got 20 coins for that. That's like an hour's worth of... <laughs> so 30 days got me 20 coins. Wow, that's not a lot of coins. I think you need like 5,000 for a free month on the site. Oh my gosh. So I've done 30, 30 problems and uh, a few extras. And I've made a total of, oh, oh no, oh, whoa. My bad, my B, it was not 20 coins, it was 200 coins. That's pretty good. Now I have 768, so that was almost a fourth of my coins. Wow, right there. That's awesome, more than a fourth. 30% increase. Let's go spend this money. Yeah, 5,000 minimum. 6,000 for a shirt. Mm. All right, so I still got a little ways to go there, but I'm happy to see that, so cool. All right. I'm going to be checking out this Facebook group here. And uh, now that my uh, weeknights are free, I'm going to be figuring out something different to stream. All right, I'll be watching for you, Will. All right, y'all have a good night.